Hi there, welcome to KA Box. Let's test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. Right, so in this video, we are going to see two advanced loops available into JavaScript to iterate through an array. And before we move on, if you have not watched part 19 of this series, please do so because both of these methods for each and map they accept a function as an argument and most of the time we pass in the anonymous function to these functions and that anonymous function accepts three parameters parameter number one is the current value which we are working on parameter two is the index of that value and parameter three is the array itself all right so in the for loop video and while and do while we have seen that with the help of these loops we can iterate through array now let's understand these for each and map so for each method calls a function once for each element in an array in the order the for each function is not executed for array elements without values this method does not change the original array so that's the main thing about for each it does not change the original array however the callback function can still mutate the original array and map method the map method creates a new array with the results of a of calling a function for every array element so this can create a new array okay as such the for each does not return anything okay but this map method can return a new array all right the map method calls the provided function once for each element in an array in order the map does not execute the function for array element without values this method does not change the original array however again the callback function can mutate the original array okay so if you could see in here so i have created a function so this is my array and i would like to sum up all the items within this array so how can i do so just create a variable and create a function which is going to add these values to this sum so therefore sum starts with 0 0 plus 1 is 1 then 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 3 is 6 all right so this is the job of this function and now what we are doing is on this array we are calling for each and passing in this function and on the console we are logging the result all right so in this case we have not mutated the original array but in the other example i have shown how can you mutate the same array so you could see in here what we are doing is we are multiplying each item in this array by 10 and we are storing that value at the same index inside this callback function and hence we are mutating that value right and therefore you see that as 10 20 and 30 and here also you could see that you know both of the here also i've created the same function in the map i'm passing the same function and you see this and with the help of this also we can mutate that okay pretty much the same right but then what is the difference for each versus map let's understand the difference so for each executes a provided function once for each array element map also does that okay for each may be prefer preferable when you are not trying to change the data in your array okay because it does not do that automatically if you want to do so you can mutate it through the callback function right so otherwise it does not do that automatically but instead want to just do something with it so if you just want to do something with the data like saving it to a database or logging it out then go for for each right what about map so map might be preferable when changing or altering the data okay not only this is faster but it returns a new array as well this means we can do great things like you know chaining on other methods 
since this is a new array so on a new array you can apply all these so you can apply chaining right once you do the map you can do filter you know you can do reduce and you can do all these other methods you can make a chain of these methods so that's the main difference okay that so let's define array is equal to one two three four five one and what we have learned this far is we are going to use this and let me change this simply and let's print this value and so you have to write this much of code to print all the values there into your array what you can also do is array dot for each and it is going to accept what a callback let's do it directly using the fat arrow function and it is going to pass in what a current value so let's call it current value and then we use the fat arrow syntax okay and since we just have to print this one line so we can simply write this up so just in one line of code right we can achieve the same thing okay so to differentiate we say this is for and here we say for each okay let's run this and we say advance and there's a there's an error okay so of course there is no index as such it's a copy paste error so you have to just do well and save that run that again and you could see the values for one for two four three four 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 five and for each all right so that's how you can use for each okay you have seen the example for mutating and i'm going to do the same but this time let's do one thing let's use map now and let's do one thing instead of console.log let's take this out and say let's multiply this value by five and since this can return you a new array so let's store that into a new array five okay and let's do one thing let's console.log your new array that is being returned by map and let's try to print that out and we can comment this out okay and also this we don't require that and let's see that so now you see a new array is being returned okay so that's about for each and map loops just make sure that this does not change the original array unless and until you want to do it through your callback function also this does not return you anything this returns you a new array and at the same time using the callback function you can mutate the original array so depending upon what your requirement is this is definitely much faster than your for each okay all right that's about for each and map thank you so much